Recently, I've fallen into a rabbit hole on YouTube. People buying old ruins or rundown castles, chateaus and the likes and renovating them into their own special houses is absolutely fascinating. And not gonna lie, I want to do this as well. Since I don't have the budget, I thought, well, I want to experience the same thing, so let's do it in The Sims. And this is what we're going to do today. Hi everyone, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here, and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build some castle ruins, we go medieval, and then we are going to renovate them as well, all in one shot. And this will be a family house, so there will be two bedrooms, two bathrooms, kitchen, the whole thing. You can absolutely play with this and make this, you know, your Sims' home. I chose Windenburg as the world for this. This is the world that comes with the get-together pack and still is my most favorite world. And yeah, I just thought this is so fascinating. I really, really want to try this out. And why not try this out in The Sims? So I really hope that you're gonna like this. So as you can see, we kind of went with the Spartan tower house that you could see in the end of my little intro. This is kind of like a really, really small part of an old, you know, castle tower maybe. And I wanted to have these kind of baileys all around with some towers maybe that could be renovated and turned into a little room. But definitely I wanted to have the baileys as kind of separation for the landscaping as well. So you have a little area for, you know, uh, as for barbecuing and just leather gardening and the rest is maybe a little bit separated for foliage and stuff like that. I also wanted to renovate this as best as I can, so to speak, because uh, of course there are several renovation laws all over the world and sometimes you can't do what you could do in The Sims. For example, putting in really big glasses, you know, big glass windows, which I wanted to have. Usually these really medieval castles have tiny, tiny little holes as their windows. And um, I wanted to have the sandstone kind of brick, if it's, it's not really brick, but you know what I mean. But I still wanted to have really, really big windows. So uh, as you know, since this is possible in The Sims, I wanted to do this as well. So we have a little bit of mixture of windows anyways. Plus we don't have castle, you know, we don't have a medieval pack in The Sims. So there is no medieval windows and doors and stuff like that. Maybe some are a little bit reminiscent of the style we are going for, but yeah, I definitely thought they're gonna have uh, glass roofs, for example, so there's lots and lots of light inside, which you wouldn't have actually if you would have, you know, like this old tower of a castle or something like that. So this is definitely way better. And since in The Sims 4, we also don't have to think about electricity or plumbing. You just put down your toilet and it works and you put down your lights and it all works. So I really, really like this idea. <laughs> and this is definitely a house that I would, you know, would like to live in. So this is also kind of like a project where I was thinking, okay, this is not as much production design of like thinking, you know, is this fitting to the world or stuff like that? This was just like, how would I like to do this? How would I like myself sim to live here? Because this is definitely something that interests me more than like, if I would be super rich, I wouldn't buy me like a huge mansion somewhere. This is something that I would do. I would definitely buy like an old castle or like a tower, something like that and renovate it because usually these are very cost intensive, you know, um, building like a huge mansion is maybe even sometimes costs way less, is way cheaper. But yeah, this is kind of like a passion kind of thing if you, if you like that stuff. It's definitely unique. It's a very unique house. And I also thought this is interesting to put into The Sims because it definitely tells you something about what kind of people are maybe living in there. So I was thinking maybe you have like an architect or engineering kind of type person or it's maybe a little bit more hippie. So they use lots and lots of the gardening space all around, stuff like that. It's all very self-built. We could use lots and lots of foliage, lots of greens, you know, that have grown into the old walls and stuff like that and make this look like a very open space but it's still separated because of the bailey walls and like the ruins outside and i really like this i chose a quite small 
as you can see a small lot here i think in the end this is not even as expensive this whole thing it's like 150,000 simoleons that's nothing in sims terms i definitely wanted to have that the exterior walls are also the sandstone on the inside so only the interior walls that are really new and added to the structure are with stucco and the rest really had to be the sandstone because that is like a feature that I wanted to include here as well. I've seen this in lots and lots of these renovations as well, where people didn't choose to put stucco or anything, up, you know, to cover up the, the exterior walls or like the brick structure of it. And I really like this and I wanted to have this as well. So we go with very minimal interior design because that's something that I personally would like. It's also easier to clean. <laughs> and uh, I definitely used lots of dream home decorator here. So that's a gameplay pack that I used a lot. And I also used a lot of the tiny home, tiny houses, tiny houses stuff pack. Is that what it's called? because the actually interior is quite small in my opinion i you know guys i usually do these huge large uh, buildings and uh, this is a little bit smaller this time but yeah we have a really cool sleek minimal kitchen in my opinion of course i'm gonna spice everything up with lots and lots of uh, plants and there's of course a coffee espresso machine because I'm living in there, you know, I was always thinking what would I have in my kitchen? We definitely would have <laughs> a coffee machine, like a really expensive, you know, espresso coffee machine with steamer and the whole thing. Definitely, 100%. That's even more important than the stove. And once I was doing the other side of the kitchen, I realized, okay, I have a stove, I have a sink. Wait, the fridge again. I forgot the fridge in the kitchen. So um, yeah, I was like, no, this is like, ugh. yeah. We have a short little disclaimer here. The, the fridges in The Sims. This is something that I hate. Because in Germany, we are used to having built-in fridges, or at least you have the, if you buy the counters for your kitchen, you also have the blend panel for the fridge and like the whole, you know, counter around, like not the counter, but like the box around, right? so it blends into your whole you know kitchen and it doesn't look like the standalone fridge i think this is something very american probably also in other countries but you know the devs are american so i just think that's maybe why they don't have added that i'm really really happy that we finally got this siren stovetops that's something we definitely have in germany now i only need the built-in fridge basically because that's just annoying doing million dollar houses and then you always have this ugly standalone fridge i hate it but yeah that would be interesting if they ever come up with like um, a new kitchen set to maybe include a fridge kind of build around or so that you could snap around the fridge or something like that so that was that would be really really important to me and yeah basically we go with white and like this very sandstony wood i think in this time this is like birch or something i like a very light wooden color and i thought this matches really well with this kind of limestone sandstone I'm, I'm gonna call it wallpaper because it's a wallpaper in the game but you know what i mean the exterior brick kind of thing <laughs> stone wall this time i even have a tv in there because uh, yeah we have a tv in the living room uh, which we never i mean i never watch television television i only stream stuff i don't even know if we could watch tv like not through the internet i don't know but yeah sometimes this this thing is on you know like blabbering in the background so yeah we go with lots of white and very light wooden colors and lots of natural tones this is something that i personally just enjoy you know in in, in my own space and how i decorate my own space as well and yeah basically this kind of looks a lot like my own living room so uh here's a little bit about me <laughs> What I definitely did want to include is sometimes I use uh, the candle holders there, the wall mounted sconces with the arches around. This is something that maybe was inside of the, you know, the ruins and they kind of reconstructed it and reused this. 
this is something I've seen in lots of these renovation videos and tours where I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense that you, of course, you know, incorporate some of these things. And I really like that. So I'm gonna put it in here. And the bathrooms are very minimal, you know, lots of white. You can see I have these really, really big tiles for the wall. That's something that I personally really enjoy. If I would renovate my bathroom, I definitely would choose something like that. And yeah, it just basically, this is like a very personal thing. I really usually hate talking about myself in videos and stuff like that. But yeah, this is definitely more up my alley, like how I would live in something like this. I really hope that you like this, but yeah, I'm, this is basically the whole choice. So sometimes I can't even tell you why I chose it. It's just like, I like it. This is definitely what I would chose or choose for my renovation. So the exterior bailey has a little barbecue, of course, a little in the middle there's like this where you can sit and maybe work, but also eat and stuff like that. There is of course a bicycle, because if you live in Windenburg, you need a little bicycle. Uh, lots and lots of um, plant pots, so your sims can do gardening. Also, because I just am a plant lover, I will. I have lots of plants all around. And when I don't know how to decorate something in The Sims, this is also how I personally tend to do stuff. So lots and lots of plants everywhere. This is just a thing that I enjoy. It's, it sparks joy. So yeah, there will also be an easel. So your Sims can do, you know, as you know, I always want to do lots and lots of activities and include that here. So your Sims can work from home and kind of have an income from just never leaving this beautiful house. And then there in the other tower, there is a flower arranging table and a woodworking table because I just thought, you know, um, these people are definitely into landscaping, gardening, flower arranging and also kind of renovating them themselves and like recycling stuff. So uh, woodworking was just something that kind of made sense. And uh, since the upper staircase has a very narrow hallway, I put lots and lots of glass windows. So there are lots and lots of glass windows on the upper floor and in the tower. And it's just beautiful how the, you know, light comes down into the rooms. It's really, really beautiful. Since I chose these big glass windows, they actually kind of have like these little separations, as you can see. I thought these look a little bit more like Hassel Chateau windows, but I personally like them more than one big glass window, if that makes sense. I like the paneling in between. I like these separations. Kind of think it's um, like a privacy screen as well. It's kind of like a thing. So yeah, the master bedroom has, of course, the built-in kind of closet thing from the dream home decorator around the door because we have to think about how everything is set up here too because you can't really wall mount stuff to the sandstone i thought like not heavy stuff so yeah it's um it was just like an intuition thing to use that kind of corner niche there for the closet then there is of course a little tv lots of plants ottoman lots of tiny little furniture pieces so you can rearrange them this is something that i tend to do for smaller rooms as well and then we had another bedroom upstairs and I thought, okay, teenage girl, maybe. I think it's gonna be something that I, yeah, I just wanted to try out the pink again because I did the pink teenage room for the last build, which was the Christmas movie house. And I just thought, okay, let's revisit the pink. I don't know, I'm still not finished with it. But yeah, um, we have lots and lots of teenager room stuff now because of the high school pack and the pastel pop kit and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me to, you know, try out all of the combinations you may do here. And I also thought this kind of, you know, looks nice with the sandstone and lots of the swatches that come in pink are also with the light wood that I chose and just as a general wood type here. So this all came together. So fairy lights, you know, the whole thing, there's a PC. And upstairs in the tower, there is another little office. So your sim can use that computer and, you know, do do computer stuff because computers are very important in gameplay, in my opinion. If your sims earn money from it, programming, writing, you know, whatnot. And yeah, I just thought it's very, very important to have another office. You could turn this into a nursery easily and stuff, you know. But I thought this is the perfect office kind of space for yeah a house like this. And that's basically it. This is all of the whole 
castle guys i really hope that you like this i hope you like this idea let me know if i do another renovation kind of thing maybe so if you have nice cool idea just write it in the comments and yeah that's basically it i want to thank you so so much for watching enjoy the video tour now and i will see you soon bye bye